Okay, let's go ahead and add the last piece of functionality we want, want to do for a controller, and that is delete that object. So we're going to go ahead and add our last uh, action here. We're going to delete users. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a user and factory girl that create. And we want just our normal user right here. And what uh, we are going to do is before we do anything else, we're going to visit the user's path because what we're going to assume is that uh, in that listing of the users, there will be a link to delete that user. And so what we want is it should have a link to delete. And the URL for that is going to be the path for this user. And yeah, we should probably parenthesize this correctly. There we go. It should um, uh, also once we, we have that link then what we want is that we're going to when we click on that link we want it to go back to the user's path so we redirect properly and because we're dealing with redirects here this is that um, special request type that we need to do and again here we're going to um, use a delete request and the delete request that we want is that user path and when we do that we're going to expect that the response is going to redirect us back to the list of users uh, of course if we follow that what we're going to look at next is that the um, user message is correct and that um, we've removed that person from the system so it oops, produces a delete message and you know we, we don't know too much what it means so we're gonna click the link to delete and we'll just pick the first delete uh, doesn't matter which one when we're testing we click on we just want to make sure that we can delete and we should um, have our alert message that's a success and then uh, finally we're going to remove the user from the system when we go ahead and do this so what we expect is that when we click on that link that says delete and again who cares which first one uh, which one we do if we don't have this match value in here uh, capybara is going to complain because it's going to say you have a delete link for all these different users which one do you want me to click on and so that's why we have to tell it which one and when we do click on that link we're going to change the user count by negative one and and all right and I don't like this indentation here uh, and also so we're going to do this and we're going to do this there we go so what we've got here uh, are for refreshing when we create this user we're going to visit that user's path we're going to expect a delete link to point to that user and we then use a delete method on that user we expect to be redirected back to the user's path and when we're redirected back to the user's path we expect a success message to be displayed and that the number of users is reduced by one. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and 
run those tests and make sure that they fail just like we want them to. So we're going to run them. Here they're going to chug, chug, chug. And we see four errors. All right. And in all of them, they are complaining like we expect. We don't know where the delete link is. We don't have a delete link. We don't have a delete link. And then we don't have the right controller action. So it appears that we have written these tests correctly. And um, we would almost be correct, except for uh, one case right here. And that is um, this let command. And I'm going to show you as we develop why this let command is wrong. But maybe you can see what is wrong uh, up here and, and why it is wrong.